Jeffrey Lionel Dharma was known as the Milwaukee Cannibal or the Milwaukee Monster. He made 17 victims, men and boys between 1978 and 1991. These are the names and pictures of those he harmed. Hicks was hitchhiking to a rock concert in Chippewa Lake Park, Ohio, roughly 25 miles away, when Dharma picked him up and brought him back to his parents' home. Hicks was last seen June 18, 1978, though his remains were not discovered until 1991 after Dharma confessed to killing him. He's the only murder victim in Milwaukee for which Dharma was not charged because of lack of evidence. Dharma did not recall details, but believes he killed Twomey at the Ambassador Hotel. Young as he was, Jamie Dockstater was nearly six feet tall. He was half Stockbridge and half Oneida and liked to play billiards and ride his bike. His mother lived in Tampa, Florida, and he was the oldest of four children. Doc Stater was last seen on January 16, 1988. Richard Guerrero came from a family of Mexican descent. His sister, Janie Hagen, immediately assumed he was dead when he disappeared in March 1988. Hagen felt police didn't take her seriously because her brother was Hispanic. The family hired a private investigator who cheated them out of their money. Richard's father, who worked at a golf course, lost much of his savings in the scam. Anthony Sears ran a Baker's Square in Milwaukee and wanted to celebrate his recent promotion to manager at Easter dinner with his family, but he did not come. He wanted to be a model and was saving money to leave Milwaukee. Ricky Beeks often went by the pseudonym Raymond Smith, and it wasn't uncommon for him to be away from home for long periods of time. He lived with his half-sister, who'd taken him in after his release from prison, and had a 10-year-old daughter living in Rockford, Illinois. He aspired to become a professional model. He was reported missing in June 1990, and his sister Carolyn received a phone call, presumably from Dharma, in March 1991 telling her that her brother was dead. Carolyn became a prominent figure in subsequent news coverage, including the trial. David Thomas was the father of two-year-old Korsha Beanland. Curtis Strauter was a high school dropout who joined Gay Youth Milwaukee at age 15. Errol Lindsay had a job making plaster figures. Thank you for watching till the end. Please remember you will find more videos in the description relating to the subject. Also, please like the video and subscribe to the channel to see more interesting videos. Goodbye.